Welcome to the first lesson of Course 2 in Code Studio. This is the first unplugged lesson, and it's called Graph Paper Programming. So if you watched Course 1, then you know that we used that first lesson to sort of get students acclimated to the idea of computer science and help them understand that it's not really all that difficult. We're going to do the same thing with this lesson. In this lesson, you provide students with 4x4 four four squares. There's some images that have already been colored in, and we use black and white in our resources. But you can use any color you want if you're doing this in your classroom. So you have your squares, and it would be pretty simple to describe to your partner how to fill in their blank paper to look like your image if you were just using English. So assuming that you're starting in the upper left-hand corner, which all of our images do, you could just use the steps provided, which are move right one square, move left one square, move up one square, move down one square, and fill in square with color. You could use those instructions and you could just say move right one square, fill in square with color. Move right one square, move right one square, fill in square with color. Move down one square, move left one square, fill in square with color. And you could get them to match the image that you have. Keep in mind that the partner is not allowed to see your image while you're doing all of this. Now, because we're not going to allow the students to uh, do this interactively, the student who has the image has to write that whole algorithm down before they can pass it to their partner. And since it would take forever to actually write, move one square right, fill in square with color, move one square right, move one square right, fill in square with color, we give a arrow suggestion. So the arrows are what you can use for each of those steps that you're providing to your partner. Now once you've written the entire algorithm in arrows, it becomes a program and you pass the program to your partner and your partner uses that program to create their image on their blank piece of paper and hopefully it ends up looking the way that the original image did. If it doesn't, that's a great time to introduce maybe debugging just a little bit, get them to fix it, and carry right along. As always, you know your classroom best, so if you have any modifications that you would like to make for your classroom, feel free to do that.